Hi everybody! Listen really quickly, I just have a quick word of encouragement today. You know, we just got finished celebrating Valentine's Day. Some people are celebrating this weekend and going out and look forward to have a great time this weekend. I know my husband, he came in on Valentine's morning and of course he came in with the flowers and the cards, but he had to get back out to work and so we weren't able to celebrate our Valentine's on Sunday, I mean on Thursday, and I was truly okay with it. I called my grandbabies over, my children over, um, because it seems like everybody's doing Valentine this weekend, right? <laughs> so it just kind of worked out. Everybody was like, we got Saturday and we're gonna do Valentine's on Saturday. So that's kind of like for our family. So on Valentine, we just took the time to love on each other today. My word of encouragement goes out to those who are in a place. You're in a place, you're, you're feeling lonely, you're feeling kind of left out. You know, Valentine wasn't good to you this year and maybe somebody walked away from you or, or maybe you're in a marriage or maybe you're in a relationship where you're going through, you guys really need a healing to take place in your relationship or in your marriage. Or maybe you're just by yourself. Maybe you don't have family with you. And 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 maybe, you know, you're just you've been alone for a while. You're single and you're not really embracing your singleness. Like God, I can't wait for you to send me my Boaz. And you know, and so we find ourselves looking on social media. And on social media, we see people boot up and we see them, you know, at dinner and we see them with, I saw somebody with uh, rose petals and just have everything set out so beautiful. And that can be very discouraging when you are feeling lonely or you're, you're, you're at home that night and hubby didn't bring you flowers and neither did hubby try to do dinner for you and neither does he has plans this weekend and or your boyfriend or whatever and it's very discouraging i wanted to encourage you today abandon social media when it comes to stuff like that first of all for some of these people you don't know what they've been through you don't know what they've been through to even have a valentine some of these people taking pictures are very healthy and healthy relationships and then you have some people taking pictures just for the camera to look like everything's okay because we're in a world now that everybody a lot of people facade and then there were people who were just too busy enjoying their valentine they didn't put pictures up and they really didn't care about it because they didn't have to prove nothing to nobody you know and I want to just encourage you to really, you know, when you're going through those moments and holidays come, the Christmases come, the Thanksgivings come, the birthdays come, and now we're in Valentine's Day, and it's like, what about me? What about me? I want to encourage you, don't look to social media. Don't look to social media. Don't look at your sister who has her, her husband or her boyfriend and wish that. Love yourself and embrace the love that God has for you. You know, St. John 3, 16 said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, and whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. And when I think of the goodness of Jesus, <laughs> and how much he loves me and how much that when I was going through, see the reason I can talk about this and I choose to encourage, I remember being the woman who was in a very broken relationship and with a man that I true, I, I married him, <laughs> you know, broken. And, and, and the cards, it's not that they wasn't coming or the flowers wasn't coming or the gifts didn't come. But we were in such a broken place, it didn't, it did, really didn't matter. It didn't matter, it was no reason to put the facade. I didn't usually put the flowers, because to me it was like I get flowers, but I'm not happy. You know what I'm trying to say? And there was years we were very happy and totally, but I remember the days looking at other people, looking all extra happy with a big cheese on their face, just to come to find out that some of it was just all a facade. You don't know what you're coveting. You don't know what you're longing after. And the truth of the matter is, is that, you know, our society today is kind of built around people, you know, caring what other people's opinions are. If you embrace the fact that God loves you, that he loves you, that he loves you so much that he sent his only son to die, to die 
to take a beating on your behalf and to turn around and rise again so that you can have life and have it more abundantly and to let you know that as long as you find your place in him, you are everything. And without him, you are nothing. And the fact that you can hear this video, the fact that you can see this video, the fact that you are in your right mind means God loves you and that you are loved. Don't allow depression to rule you, especially on holidays, Christmases, and, and Thanksgiving, and, and, and birthdays, and you're by yourself, and you find yourself by yourself, and maybe that's that time where you say, you know what, this is my day, I'm going to focus on me, and I, I'm not going to worry about what I don't have, but I'm going to thank God for everything that I do have. So I remember reflecting back on days that I, were, I was really hurting, and I remember, you know, just looking at everybody else and today i don't do that i could care less who bought what for who the fact that i can on valentine's day my husband can come home and i can smile thank god that he's just home thank god that he didn't get shot on the way or a, or a damaged police officer didn't stop him and, and 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 shoot him for no reason the fact that he came home and, and my children are home and i could see him all for valentine's day was the rose it was the dinner. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Hubby still got, you know, I don't mind that be beautiful bottle of perfume or the dinner or whatever we do. But the truth is, is I was satisfied in it because I learned that I was okay with or without. And so today, I just wanted to encourage you to encourage you today is to just be grateful. Take some time and, and be grateful for what God has already given you. And don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Know this, that you are loved, whether you got the flowers and you loved, whether you didn't. And if you're one of those women in a very broken relationship and your marriage is kind of just being torn apart or your relationship is being torn apart, you know, on Saturday, February the 23rd at 10 a.m. from 10 to 12, you know, our support group is meeting and we're going to deal with those broken relationships and we're going to talk about it and get support from other women and you know i've been there i know what it is and i know that god can restore broken relationships make you fall in love with each other all over again i'm telling you he's god he can do it and you know sometimes we just need to know what strategy we can use and what we need to do to bring that back together again to take to to you know woman up and power up in our relationships relationships you know god what is it that you would have me to do in this place right now we're going through so much come on out let us minister to you let us support you and let us get you some information so that you can feel feel empowered to go back home and and pray over your situation and watch god move in it listen you guys thanks for watching and you have a wonderful day